Annie and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a huge first year of uni haul because I finally have everything and I'm moving tomorrow which is exciting and that's tomorrow for me because I'm not sure when you're watching this but I really hope you find this helpful make sure you leave a like and a comment down below if you do let me know if you're going to uni this year or next year what, what you're planning to do can I even speak today but anyway let's get straight into the video so I'm going to start with this massive bag from Wilco and I think everything in here is from Wilco, at least from what I can see. So I'm going to go through this now. The first thing I've got is one of these bathroom bins. I think it was like only three pounds which is incredible because in some other places these were quite expensive i just went for like the mirror like one can you see the camera kind of there we are but yeah that's my that's gonna be my bin and then i also got this toilet brush thing in the matching like chrome silvery effect there's also like the lid bit that goes on top somewhere in this bag and the last thing I've got in this bag is my laundry hamper my deluxe laundry hamper it's again from Wilco and I mean it looks kind of big here but when I saw it in the shop stood up I thought for the price this is definitely going to be worth it you can kind of see the pattern it's got on it from the picture it just says wash me please and there's loads of butterflies and it's in like this really cool material can't remember what it's called but yeah so I got this which is good oh it also has a lid which I think is great moving on to a, another bag this bag is from TK Maxx which I don't actually think there's anything in here from TK Maxx but it's a useful bag so up first wait. so up first are these clothes hangers from ikea unfortunately for me the ikea in norwich is a small one so i wasn't able to pick up much from there but they did have this pack of oh, i'm gonna have to count how many there are now eight clothes hangers so i bought two of them and that should be enough but I don't really know because I haven't seen what my accommodation looks like I've only seen pictures so but if I need to get more I can always get more it's not like I'm going to the end of the world <laughs> okay now up next are my towels which I brought from Asda they're really they're just like super soft bath sheets which is like the biggest towel size you can get and I got that in two colours to match my colour theme, which as you can see is like this duck egg turquoise blue and this really pretty grey colour. They're actually so soft and I actually can't wait to use them, which is that strange? I can't wait to use towels. That probably is, but they're so soft and they just, oh, new towels, they feel really soft. So up next are these two glasses, I think they're like, they just say that they're navy sprayed tumblers but sizing wise I think they're not quite a pint, I think they could be half pint sizes but they're so so pretty, me and my mum saw these in Dunelm yesterday and I just had to pick one up, they've got this really cute like diamond pattern on them with like the fade of blue up to clear obviously <laughs> you can very clearly see that no pun intended and yeah they're just so cute and they were only one pound each as well which is incredible so I've got these and from Tesco I just picked up these super super basic again tumbler style glasses well this this is actually called a soda highball glass I can't remember how much this is but I think it was like 50p for one and I just brought two of them it's that really basic kind of like the glass shape you see in like every single shop 
Okay, so moving on to more kitchenware stuff. I've just got this, these, I couldn't decide whether to say this or these then. I've got this cereal bowl. It's just got a black outside and a white inside. It's a really nice size and I feel like this is gonna be perfect for my breakfast, obviously, because it's a cereal bowl. <laughs> And the, oh, this is from Tesco, by the way, and it was quite cheap, actually, and it feels really good quality, so. Up next, I've got a pasta bowl, because I've, when I was looking at stuff online, I saw that you could get pasta bowls, and I was like, oh my god, I have to get a pasta bowl, because it's so nice. It's like a bowl, but it's also like a plate, and all these are dishwasher and microwave safe, which is perfect, and this is just the Tesco's Aura range. I got it in black, but they have lots of other colours, I think. And yeah, I'm actually really excited to have pasta in this. And lastly, I just have the two plates. So I've got the side plate, I think it was called, and the just like dinner plate. Both really nice sizes for what they're designed for. So like a piece of toast on here and then an actual meal. And yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to actually eating off these because I don't know, I just love new homeware things and I'm so excited to use them. So up next, I have this little collection of things from Dunelm yesterday because me and my mum went shopping just to get a few little extra bits and I just could not resist getting these. So up first is an LED candle because obviously you're not allowed real candles in uni accommodation. So I brought this, It's you can't really see it but it's quite deep in there and it just uses AA batteries which is perfect. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this in my room. I feel like it's gonna create just that little bit of extra like cute interior sort of like space that's gonna I'm excited to use it and up next from Dunelm I have a bottle opener because I was kind of looking out for this in all the other shops I went in like TK Maxx and everything but I didn't ever manage to find one as simple as this they all had that like giant corkscrew thing the ones like you know the normal ones but this one is really small and compact and it's just gonna be so easy just to open bottles with and up next I have some hand sanitizer from the supermarket because obviously that's a thing now you've got to use it more and I also I don't know why I'm speaking so slowly. I also brought this cute little tub thing that I'm gonna, that I'm thinking I might use to put in like my lip balm and my like ID card and like stuff you want to just like pick up before you leave. Cause it's a really nice size and it's also a pretty color that matches my color theme. From Tesco, I decided to pick up a diffuser in the scent spiced berries and apple and Oh my god, I can smell it through the box and it is so so good. They have one out in the store and when I smelt it I was just like, oh my god, this is autumn in a scent and I'm such a lover of like autumn scents and oh, I could talk about this scent for hours. It's so nice. It's a really nice like spicy, sweet, perfect autumn scent and I'm so excited to actually have a room that smells of this because it's been so hard not using it Oh, my cat's looking at me. It's been so hard not using it, like, since I brought it, and I cannot wait to use it in a few days' time. And of course, I just had to include this. This is the best instant coffee ever. It's the Nescaf Gold Barista Style. It's normally quite expensive, but when it's on offer, we always pick it up, and it's huge, it lasts for ages, and I cannot wait to have my own big pot of this that I can use. Before I show you what's in this, I just wanted to share that I have this giant 32 litre underbed storage box and I've got, I've got four boxes but I've only got three lids because my parents forgot to pick up an extra lid because they didn't realise they actually had four. So I've got one of these that doesn't have a lid but I think that's going to be fine because I can just put like stuff that doesn't in it that doesn't need a lid to hold it in there. So in this one I've got all my kitchen stuff which you can probably see and I'm now just going to go through it and explain to you everything that I've got. 
first are these tea towels from Sainsbury's. I've really kind of like, well I've seen tea towels everywhere but I've just never picked them up. So yesterday I picked up these ones. They're just five tea towels and it says Terry on it. I don't know what that means. Is that their range? But they're just the ones that are more like towel like, not the fabric ones because they do nothing. Um, not that I have much experience with tea towels, but yeah, I got these. They're just really pretty, like greeny colour, greeny, bluey. I don't, they kind of look more blue on camera, but yeah, they're really cool. And in them, oh, I'm going into so much detail. Why am I doing? They're tea towels, they're going to dry up things, and I'm going to take them all with me. So I actually decided to get two saucepans, but I've only got one in this box, and this is the smaller one. It's from Asda, and it's 16 centimeter stainless steel pan with a lid and it comes with just like i'm not going to open it because this is kind of keeping it all in place but it's got just a lid that's got the circular knob handle thing and it's dishwasher safe easy grip handle vented glass lid it's a saucepan it's perfect size for me don't need anything too big which this is great for and next I have my frying pan. I decided to get one of the Scoville Never Stick Super Strong Non-Stick Frying Pan. It's 24 centimeters, so it's a really nice small size and it's gonna be perfect for anything I want to cook, whether it's like pancakes or stir fry or an egg. It's just a really great pan and I'm excited to see actually how non-stick it is because I've never used a pan like this. It's got this like, I'm not even sure what it is. It's just, it's really cool. And it's actually suitable for everything, including induction, which I don't really need, but because I don't think I've got an induction hob, but that's great for a pan. For my tray, I actually decided to get an enamel tray because not only can I like bake things like chips and potatoes and what else do you bake? Like veggie burgers and stuff in here. But I can also like make a tray bake cake if I want to because I love baking. And this actually has like tall sides. So I can pretty much do anything in this and me and my family already have a couple of these at home and they are brilliant they last so so well there's like nothing that's gonna come away like some things peel and stuff but this is a really great tray and i know it's gonna be good and that it's gonna last me a very long time and it was from tk maxx for only 4 99 which is amazing. Also, just another little hack, TK Maxx has so much kitchenware. When I went in, I was like, oh my God, they have so much. And I picked up most of my stuff from there for the kitchen, which was actually really good. Not much to say about this. It's a serving spoon and it was 2 99 from, again, TK Maxx. Now, when I was doing my research on YouTube, watching all the videos, Coco, no, 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 not on my laptop. Cat, cat, what are you doing? Coco? Okay, my cat's sniffing my laptop. Not sure what's going on there. But next I have these Pyrex glass dishes with lids. And when I saw that people included these on YouTube, I was like, yes, these are gonna be great because I can like, what I can do is I can cook something in it and then I can like, Put it in the fridge and then reheat it up the next day which is something that actually sounds really cool and they also stack really nicely on top of each other and you can like freeze them so I feel like these are just gonna be so practical and they're gonna come in handy and they were five pounds each from Matalan and it was actually kind of hard to find these at first but then after I got these I kept seeing like own brands doing them everywhere but yeah these were they're kind of like a really nice size not sure how big they are doesn't say but they're oven safe freezer safe fridge safe like these are really good and I'm actually excited to try them next is my cutlery I just brought like a full set of cutlery from TK Maxx for $14.99 and it's a Renberg like it's like a brushed silver set and I'm guessing that there's just gonna be like four of everything in here and 
I'll probably only get like a couple of each out at first because obviously I'm not going to need like four knives, four forks. Ideally I wanted two of each but if anything happens like if I lose them or anything like that or somebody takes them then I'll have extra to use which is good. And the last thing in this box is my Tupperware. I just brought like from TK Maxx a set of three and inside there's two extra. There's a small one, a medium one and this large one. This is going to be perfect for me to like put lunch in or to like make a salad in to take with me and yeah they've just got like the clip lids and it's BPA free, airtight, microwave freezer and dishwasher safe and they're really compact and they can stack on top of each other so that's really good and I think these were $4.99 for free which is an incredible deal. So the second kitchen box has mostly my utensils in it but it also does have a few extra of the big things. So I also have the next size up of the saucepan which is 18 centimetres and again it comes with a lid and it's suitable for all hobs except induction. It's got a really nice handle because what I found when I was shopping was that all the like cheaper pans had the hollow just like metal like handles but this one has a solid handle which is great because it's not going to like burn my hand when I touch it. So up next is my, oh, I keep saying so, I'm very sorry, I'll try not to. Up next is my colander or my conical sieve as it's called. It's from Wilco and it's just, it just says on the label like really useful kitchen stuff, conical sieve. And it's 20 centimetres by 39 and a half centimetres. Not gonna lie, I'm not sure how easy this is gonna be to store, but when I got it, what me and my mum were thinking was that because the holes in it are quite small, the rice won't like fall through the holes because with a lot of the colanders, like yes, they're great for vegetables, which I love, but they're not very good for rice and stuff because it just falls through the big holes. But because this has small holes, I thought that that would be really good and it's not actually too big. Like it is quite small, it's just a bit of an awkward shape, but I still love it and I'm very, very happy with it. Okay, that's kind of messed up my box now. I don't think that's gonna get neat again, but next I just have some more Tupperware. I also keep saying, but I'm very sorry. I'll try to just say normal sentences. Up next, I have these Snack and Nest Systema free pack of like these screw top pots and we've already got these at home so I know that they're great. I feel like they're really good for making overnight oats and stuff in as well as just like maybe putting some salad in it and if you only use part of a vegetable and you've still got another half left you can just put it in one of these pots. So yeah and I quite like that they, oh, I keep saying so again, I really like that they can all stack together so if I'm not when I'm not using them I can just like put them in the pots and they're really easy to store which is good because I'm not sure how much space I'm gonna have. Of course I had to get a garlic press because garlic is something that I feel I'm just gonna be adding into everything because I love a bit of garlic for flavour but it's so hard to cut garlic like when you're trying to get it really really small so I decided to get a garlic press and I just got the stainless steel one from Tesco I'm hoping that it lasts really well and yeah that's my garlic press because I use so many recipes all the time that are in like the American measurements I decided to get some cups because I just find using cups so much easier to measure like portions out and stuff when you're making something like I know that to make porridge I use half a cup of oats and one cup of milk so I just use these like all the time at home anyway so I thought I'm definitely going to need them and the ones I got were from TK Maxx for $5.99 and it just has all of the different cups it's got the um one quarter cup the third cup, the half cup and the one cup, oh, I almost forgot it then, and it's got really cute blue handle to match with much of my other things that I've got for my like bedroom and stuff. 
So I'm going to try to run through all the other kitchen stuff really quickly because it's all the boring stuff that like everybody probably has. So I've got the teaspoon, tablespoon measurements. I've got I've got two wooden spoons. I've got my tin opener, which is a really pretty like purpley color. And I've got my peeler and it's one of them triangular ones because I don't know how on earth to use them, just like straight ones. Some scissors, again, in like a pink color from Asda, I think. I can't remember. I don't know where they're from actually. I think it was Asda. And I have a silicone wide turner from Taylor's Eyewitness which I got from TK Maxx. It's a very pretty colour and because it's so wide and it's at a slight angle this is going to be so so easy for me to turn things over when I'm frying them and this was only 3 99 which is incredible. I'm just like holding all these in my hand right now. Okay up next I have a whisk because if I want to whisk something, maybe whisk up some eggs or whisk up one of them TikTok coffees, then I've got a whisk. And from Gerald in Norwich, I picked up these knives. It's just a set of two and they're just like normal knives. I've got one slightly bigger one and one small one. I use a knife like this anyway when I'm like cooking food at home so I'm kind of used to these knives but these ones have a really nice soft grip handle and yeah there's not much more to say about them. Pretty colour. And the last thing in this box is of course a, if I can get this off, it's a grater. It just has like a small one, a large one and the normal one and I got one like this because A it's going to be really easy for me to store it in my small little space and B I love that it's got the different options so I can like do finely grated stuff. <laughs> my cat's watching me from behind my laptop. Coco are you right cat? Yeah I've got this grater and this was a metal metal tex one for 2 99 from TK Maxx. Okay, okay. Do you want to say hello to the camera? <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss you, Coco. So the last... So, 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 so. I might as well just call this so my haul. Right. <laughs> so the last box I've got is my bathroom box and that's just got some toilet rolls in it from... I think these are from Aldi. But there's just like six in there. They're just... Not much to say, they're toilet rolls, I'm gonna need them. <laughs> and I then have the two matching hand towels to match my big bath sheets. Again, from Asda, 100% cotton, super soft. The last, okay, almost last things I'm gonna show you in this box are these. Now, I brought these from, oh, me and my mum brought these from Primark and that's their PS Naturals range. So in here, I've got 10 oh my god I didn't know there were 10 in there I've got 10 reusable cleansing pads and these were two pounds I'm not sure I can open it I'm going to try I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to get this open I don't know I'll be back in a minute I'm back and I managed to get all the plastic like tag off and I love that it comes in this little bag because that's going to make it so easy for me to find them because I can just ooh okay so this is literally like it's a really really soft bit of flannel mi microfiber i th think material but obviously it's all like out of something sustainable but yeah this is quite nice actually Ooh, i might have to try one maybe wow okay so i'm looking forward to trying this and i like that there's 10 in there because that's going to be good when like some of them need washing there's still going to be some for me to use and again they come in like a super cute little cotton I think I don't know what this is made out of bag and of course then I've just got the 
bamboo body puffs which is a two pack for two pounds i'll probably have like maybe one in use at a time and then maybe i'll wash it and then change over to the other but yeah this is going to be cool because i haven't ever really tried out anything like sustainable like this so that should be fun and lastly in the bathroom box i have my hand soap i just had to show this because this is the most incredible smelling hand soap that there is and that is the bayless and harding jojoba jojoba i don't know how you say that vanilla and almond oil it looks like that i'm not going to focus the camera because then i'll never get it back on focus on me but it just looks like this it's a very pretty color and it's big so it should last me back until December when I get back home. So I just had to have a really big shuffle to get the last bag out, but I forgot to show you my chopping boards, which weren't actually in the box. Um, but yeah, I just got some, I think they were from Aldi or Lidl. I can't remember which one, but I know that my parents got them for me, uh, like most of this, which I'm so grateful for. But these are just two rectangular chopping boards and there's a small one as well as a bigger one and they feel like really good quality and I'm not sure what they're out of I think they're just like wood but yeah they're chopping boards I love them they're cool and I really wanted a wooden chopping board because it's going to be so much better than having a plastic one and I'm looking forward to using this like most of the stuff <laughs> and this I I decided to get a um, clothes airer because obviously I'm going to have to pay to wash and then pay again if I want to dry my clothes in the tumble dryer. So I thought if I have this then that gives me the option to save a bit of money and dry my own clothes because I'm used to doing this anyway at home. We use this all the time. Not this exact one, a bigger one. But I decided to get one that oh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it but basically it kind of like extends out so it's like split in half it's this wide and then i can extend it out like wider i can't do it right now because it's in place but basically it extends to double its current size and it stands up and it's just gonna be perfect because obviously i'm gonna have a small room so i'm not gonna have much space and now onto what i personally think is the most exciting bag and that is all the bedding and all the stuff that I'm going to use on my bed basically and I've got all that in this gigantic Ikea bag I didn't actually buy much from Ikea but I knew that I was going to need one of these giant bags so I had to pick one up up first I'm going to show you the coziest fro ever it's from Primark and it's just their extra large super soft fro which you can see was can you see kind of it was 12 pounds and it's honestly it's so soft i've got one of their small fros on my bed currently in like a deep purple color but i wanted to stick for my theme and get a super soft large gray one and this is like a pale gray color so that makes it really easy for me to like match with lots of other things if i get anything else to go with that on my bed I decided to get a giant cushion from Primark which was £8 and it's soft and comfy 55cm by 55cm which is very big as you can see that's it it's kind of like literally as tall as my body is it's a huge cushion and what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in front of my pillows and it will just add a bit of decor to my i'm gonna sneeze it'll just add a bit of decor to my bed and just make it look a bit more interesting than just a plain bed really on the go i'm using from primark one of their 300 thread count pillowcases it's 100 percent cotton and it's got a really really high thread count and i've currently got it on my bed which you can't see but I've been using it and I really, really love it. So I'm thinking that I might take them with me to uni because that's what I initially brought them for. But I'm kind of a bit overrun with pillowcases now. I'm gonna have these two, then I've got like another two bedding sets. So that's six. 
So I'm gonna have six pillowcases, which I think is good because you change your pillowcases, or at least I'd change my pillowcases more regularly than bedding, I feel like. So yeah, that's gonna be handy to have just some extra ones that are a bit more luxury for only five pounds. And also from Primark, I pretty much got loads of my bedding from Primark because they've got some great things in at really good prices and the quality of it I know is pretty good because I've used Primark bedding on my bed and I love it so much. So I've just got two, I need to stop saying so. I've got two cotton rich, fitted sheets that are both for single beds because that's what I'm gonna have which is good because that's what I'm used to because I have a single bed already I got it in grey and black both kind of like match the different beddings I've got like this matches a grey bedding set I've got this matches another one I've got but I feel like they're just such basic colours they'll go with anything before I show you the actual duvet covers I've got I'm I'm oh, what am I saying? I've got a super soft mattress protector from Primark. It was only five pounds, so I'm not sure like how good it's gonna be, but I mean, I'm used to having not the comfiest mattress anyways, but I'm sure that this will, I'm sure that this will do something. It's gonna be better than just having the mattress on its own. And it feels really soft in the packaging but I'm not gonna open it yet to feel it because I want to open it when I get there. So the first duvet set I'm gonna show you is the one I brought from Ikea and oh, I never know how to pronounce the Ikea names. It's the Sal Tort, I think. It's the Sal Tort duvet set and it's just a gray one with like this really pretty kind of like plant-like pattern. You can kind of see it, it's a bit blurry though because my camera's on manual focus. But yeah, it just comes with the double duvet cover and two of the pillowcases in that pattern. And I'm excited to use this, but I think I'm going to put this one on my bed first. This is the one that I initially saw and I was like, oh my God, I have to get this. This is what it kind of looks like all together but it's basically just a double duvet cover set and it comes with two pillowcases and the duvet cover obviously and it's just called Panama 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 I don't know Panama Panama I think it's Panama floral yeah and it's really pretty it's got loads of different colors on it so it's Again, I was thinking this one with the black fitted sheet because it's got all the black detailing and it's actually so, so pretty and I cannot wait to put this on my bed because this was like the first thing I brought like all together out of the, everything I've got now and I've been waiting a long time to use this. So in a few days time, I will get to use this. Last but certainly not least, I have my pillows and duvet, which I got from Wilco. I decided to get the two super soft washable pillows in firm because it says that they were ideal for those who fall asleep on their side which I do and I also felt them in store and I thought oh my god these are like they're really full and they're like super like they're not gonna squish down into like a pancake, which I hate with pillows. So these should be really nice. And I, I actually, I just want to like sleep on them right now. They are so, so soft. And I also brought my duvet from Wilco. So I've got a double super soft washable 10 and a half tog duvet. Cause obviously I'm not gonna be in like a super, super cold place where I need a really high tog, but it's not gonna be really warm. So I got the nice in-between one that's perfect for everything. And it's also washable, which is great. I didn't know there were instructions. There's like instructions on here on how to use the duvet. Okay, I did not know it would be that complicated, but I guess if you want your duvet to be perfect, then you've got to follow the instructions. I don't think this has any instructions though. No, this, these are just pillows. 
thank you for watching this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and that you've enjoyed seeing everything I've got. I've tried to stick to a colour theme for a lot of my stuff but also I've just picked up things that I like the look of and that I think would be nice in my room no matter what colour they are, particularly with my kitchenware stuff. That's all just kind of, I wanted to get a bit of bit of everything, bit of colour, but before I start rambling because I always end up doing that, thank you for watching this. I will leave the link to my social medias in the description below where you can check out my Instagram and more lifestyle and beauty and fashion content and soon to be Falmouth and uni content which I'm really looking forward to and I will see you in my next video.